Hey lady friends, welcome to Become a Podcast Queen. Are you a coach, a consultant, a network marketer, a thought leader, an entrepreneur, a keynote or public speaker or a creative type? Perhaps you're a hobby podcaster or have a podcast of your own for your business. If so, then you're in the right place. This is a podcast for the heart-centered and bold badass woman who wants to find, use and amplify her own unique voice to become an absolute powerhouse in her own podcast. If you're ready to pour your passion and purpose into your very own podcast and have a positive impact and influence in the world while making an income at the same time, then please join me in these empowering conversations. Learn all of my secrets around getting your podcast up and off the ground, speaking your dreams into existence, marketing and promoting your podcast, elevating your brand awareness, growing your downloads and listenership while attracting paying clients and paying customers through the power of podcasting. My name is Olivia Powell, your hostess with the mostess. I'm an international podcast and business coach and a mentor to female entrepreneurs. Tune in each episode for tons of helpful insights, actionable steps to implement straight into your own podcast so that you can put your best work out there into the world. I am here to help you harness the power of podcasting to guide and inspire you to elegantly strap on those lady balls, grab the mic and press record. Are you ready to birth and build your podcast while becoming a queen at podcasting at the same time? We don't wait until we're ready. We unapologetically crown and anoint ourselves to deliver our message. Are you with me? Let's dive in. Good morning, lovely. I am here this morning to talk to you about designing your podcast. So I want you to imagine that you're standing somewhere in your house and in front of you is a blank canvas and there's a paintbrush in your hand and this blank canvas is your podcast and I want you to imagine that you are the artist. You are the artist, the designer and the creator of your podcast. I want you to bring out that inner artist today and think about how you are going to create your podcast or how you are going to recreate your podcast Because podcasting is an ongoing, continuing thing. It's not like you do one episode and then you've finished your podcast forever. (laughs) For some people, it might work like that. But if you're in podcasting seriously and you're in podcasting for the long haul, then you need to know that there are going to be times where you might need to recreate your podcast. And that is perfectly okay. Knowing that you are the creator, we are all creators. Humans are meant to create. If you think about it, you know, we create homes as women. You know how they say that the man, you know, there's some sort of saying where it's like the guy protects the house and the woman makes it a home. You know, we create life. Women create life. We create opportunities. We create jobs. You know, we create experiences like holidays. So having a podcast is no different. It's just bringing out that creative side of you. All the creators inside of us actually come from feminine energy. And feminine energy is about allowing creation to pop in. So allowing downloads and dreams and visualizations and imagining and envisioning what our podcasts are going to look like and imagining and visualizing the abundance and the opportunities that we're going to attract to us through our podcast as well, whether that be, you know, people reaching out to us via our messages saying, you know, your podcast really impacted me. Thank you so much. Or imagining that, you know, you've attracted a new client through your podcast or that you've sold X amount of products through your podcast or you've managed to attract an incredible speaking gig through your podcast, whatever it is, anything is possible in your podcast and you can start manifesting different things through your podcast as well. And I personally have experienced that myself many a time and it's such an incredible, beautiful thing. So I want you to think about your podcast being an ongoing masterpiece and I want you to think about painting the picture of your podcast, the way you want it to look, the way you want it to feel, breathing life you know, breathing life into your podcast, moving it just from a vision and an idea and a dream into a plan and actually putting that stuff into action and birthing your podcast to the world, because that's the first step. The first step is having an idea for your podcast. The second step is actually planning what that's going to look like, how this is going to work. 
And then the third step is actually actioning those ideas, plans, dreams, all that beautiful stuff that you've imagined for yourself and your podcast and what's possible for you through your podcast and maybe even your business if you've got one. And then the fourth step is actually maintaining the podcast. That comes later. With this episode, all I want you to think about is just getting started. What is it going to look like? And if you already have a podcast, I want you to think about, okay, cool. What is this podcast going to look like in a week's time, in a month's time, in six months time, in 12 months time, in you know, two years, five years, however long you plan on doing this for. Because as I said, podcasting is the long-term game. Yeah. It's not like the short-term game and then that's it. It's an ongoing thing. So I want you to think about what your podcast can give you and what you can give to others through your podcast. I want you to hold the vibration and the energy of being on the other side of that idea being on the other side of already possessing that thing, feeling how good it feels, imagining what that looks like for you and your life and others, and then actually act as if it's already happened. Because when we act as if it's already happened, it means that we are already in the energy of attracting that thing in. And it makes it more likely for us to attract that thing in, you know, because we step into that higher version of ourselves, our frequency and our energy increases, it changes. People can tell through our voice, through the energy behind our posts, for example, if we're promoting our podcast, they can feel it, they can sense it. You know, humans are very sensory, multi-sensory beings. You get to choose how all of this is going to look like and how all of this is going to feel. So I want to ask you, how does your podcast look? What does it look like? How do you look when you're doing your podcast, when you're recording your podcast, when you're planning your podcast, planning your next episode, when you're sharing it online with other people? What does that look like to you? How does it feel? How do you feel when you're podcasting? Does it feel amazing? Do you feel incredible? Do you feel, you know, so high vibe? Do you feel like you're contributing to something greater than yourself? How does your podcast fit into your life? You know, are you doing it before work, after work? Are you doing it for your own work? You know, are you doing it on the weekends? Are you doing it with someone else or are you doing it solo by yourself? How can you make your podcasting journey a beautiful experience that supports you and supports others and supports your higher self and your ideal life? You know, because your podcast is an expression of you. Your podcast is an expression of yourself. Your podcast can also be an expression of your business if you have one. I have a lot of people that come to me and go, Olivia, I don't know what to talk about on my podcast. And I'm like, well, you have a business. It's just an extension of your business. (laughs) Instead of writing a post online, you talk about it in an audio format. And that is your podcast right there. It doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be difficult. What you know is already enough. What you have to share is already enough. And understanding that and being in the vibe of that and being in the energy of that, you'll have so much more confidence to actually make this dream come to life. And the thing here is like podcasting is the ultimate creative project in my opinion because there are no rules. You get to design, create and curate everything from scratch from the ground up, which is so incredible. You know, you get to choose the music and how it's going to feel. You know, you get to choose the content. You get to choose how you're going to share your podcast. You get to choose how you're going to show up in your podcast and who you want to bring onto your podcast and who you want to share your podcast with. And it can be as fun as you want it to be. It can be as educational as you want it to be. It can be as empowering as you want it to be. It can be as humorous or as hilarious as you want it to be. But the thing to remember here is there are so many different places to find inspiration. You know, finding inspiration within yourself, your experiences, your life, your thoughts, your values, they're all important. They're all imperative when it comes to speaking through your podcast. You know, you get to be your own muse, by the way. And if you're finding that you're struggling with inspiration, you know, it can't hurt to have a look around and see what other people are doing and what you like and what you can take away from their podcast. I'm not saying to copycat their podcast. Even if you tried, it wouldn't be the same anyway. However, your podcast is a representation of you and or your business. Yeah. So be mindful of that. We can do two things. We can either get into our heads about comparing ourselves to other people and other podcasters, how many downloads they've got and how good their social media looks like and how professional their audiograms are and la-di-da, all that stuff, right? But if you're sitting there and you're struggling to feel inspired and you're not quite sure why that's the case, it can't hurt to, you know, get out of your little cave and have a look around and see what you like that other people are doing. Write down notes that they do that you really like that you can incorporate into your own podcast because if you like them, 
there's a reason that you like them. You know, there's something within you that has an affinity towards that. And so if that's the case, you can actually repurpose that yourself through your own words, through your own energy, through your own inflections, through your own lens of the world or the topic that you're talking about. So I want you to envision what does your ideal podcast look like? Who would you be helping? How would you be helping them through your podcast? What would you say or what could you say that would help the people that you're talking to and speaking to? Because you're in charge, you're self-determining. Your podcast has to be unique to you and who you are. It doesn't have to be a copy of anyone else's because your unique divine wisdom is yours and is yours to share. And I just want to preface this by saying that your initial vision for your podcast might change in the future, and this is perfectly okay. And if anything, I actually encourage this because as you grow and evolve, your podcast should grow and evolve with you. You might feel the need to actually make over your podcast at some stage, you know, revamp it, zhuzh it up a little bit, make it a little bit different, redesign it and blossom it into a new direction. And as I said, I totally encourage and support that because you can't expect to start your podcast and it to be the complete same forever. You know, as humans, we don't even work like that. We change, we evolve, we grow. And as I said, your podcast should go along that journey with you. And there is no right and wrong, which is so awesome. (laughs) It's not like a test when you're in maths and you can only get the one answer. There's no right or wrong in art. And what you're creating as a podcast is an artwork. It's an art and a science, right? It's art in the way that you're creating something and you get to control what that looks like or be out of control and just let your subconscious mind, you know, roll with it. Yeah. It's also like a science in the way that you can be quite strategic about your podcast too. So podcasting is an art and a science. It's individualistic. And I heard this quote recently where it says, art is chaos taking shape. (laughs) And I know for me, when I was getting in the space of creating my podcast and sitting down and trying to work out what it would look like, that used to be when I was working full time and I'd have the weekends free and I would spend literally all day, Saturday and Sunday, writing down all these different inspiring ideas on my beautiful journal and notebook. And I had this beautiful gold pen with like a fake diamond on the top of it from Typo. And it just felt like such an elevated intentional experience. I'd light a candle, I'd have some herbal tea, and that space and time was just for me to create. I was totally in feminine flow and it felt so amazing. And yes, it did feel chaotic because I had all these different ideas and I didn't know exactly how they were all going to link up or how all the puzzle pieces would fit together. But that's the beauty of creation, right? It is chaotic and it's meant to be chaotic. And that's where your logical mind comes into place. And it starts to put those things into more of like an order, if that makes sense. It helps all of your ideas take shape. And another quote that I love is by Leonardo da Vinci, which is, art is never finished, only abandoned. And that's another thing that I want to make a point here on is the fact that, you know, your podcast is never finished, right? Like you don't start a podcast and go, yep, I'll be done in one month's time. You know, you could be doing your podcast for years to come. You could fall in love with the process and the journey of podcasting and decide to keep doing it. And I just want to say as well is anything is possible for your podcast. You know, when I started my podcast, gosh, ages ago now, 21, 22 months or something, I didn't know where this was going to take me. I had no idea. I was just like, I'm just going to buy a microphone. I'm going to podcast in my bedroom. I'm going to speak my truth. Hopefully other people will resonate. And I knew that they would on some level because I knew I couldn't be the only person going through that experience at the time. With all the billions of people worldwide, I was like, I cannot be the only one that is going through this. And the more research I did on the topic and the subject that I was actually speaking on, the more I realized, wow, there actually is a need for this. There's a gap in the market for this and I'm going to fill it. And that's what I did. And that's how I had literally so many, like maybe even a hundred women reach out to me via messages and emails telling me how much they loved the podcast and how much they felt understood. And I want that for you when you start your podcast or if you already have your podcast, I want you to be able to reach into people's souls. I want you to be able to speak your truth and feel like you're getting something out of it, but so is your audience, you know? So it's that beautiful two-way street, that beautiful two-way relationship. You know, your podcast can be as abundant as you want it to be and to bring you opportunities that you never thought, you know, were even possible. So if you haven't already figured it out, sit down, create some space and time for yourself and for your creative flow to happen. Write down your ideas. You know, there's really like so much power when it comes to writing down what your ideas. It actually helps you mull it over and think about it even more. There's power in the pen. Set the intention. Start visualizing. Start dreaming. 
You may not have all the answers yet and that's okay. You're not meant to have the answers yet. But if you're feeling called and you're feeling drawn to having a podcast of your own, listen to that little voice on the inside because it's there for a reason. If it's in your heart, you're meant to have it. So I just wanted to leave you with that thought today. This is a totally off the cuff episode. I just woke up this morning super early at like 6am, had my cup of coffee and watched the sunrise and I just felt super inspired to share this message with you. And I'm so glad that I have because I feel like It'll touch someone. And I know that if I was at the very start of my podcasting journey, I would really need to hear this message. So I'll leave it there. And happy podcasting, queens. I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for spending this time with me and listening in. I truly, truly appreciate you and your listenership. I really do. And if you happen to love this episode, feel free to share it with someone to join my podcast quest of empowering more and more women to rise up, find and use their own voices to unlock a podcast of full self-expression, creativity and freedom. I can't wait for you to show up, share your story and serve others through your own podcast. And if you want help to achieve this and receive more personalized care, then feel free to email me at oliviapowercoaching at gmail.com to book a consult. Or you can join the conversation in my free Facebook group by searching Become a Podcast Queen Community. If you want to hang out on Instagram, search me at Olivia Power Coaching. See you in the next episode, queens.